hello, hello. I got a question for you guys. Have you ever wanted to take a document and scan it to your Gmail and you don't know how? Well today, I'm about to show you. Stay tuned, baby. All right, guys, this tutorial will show you how to set up scan to email using the Gmail mail server. You can scan to any uh, email address using this, but it will be using Gmail settings. So let's go. Let's go ahead and hit uh, menu, utility, administrator settings, enter the password one through eight two times. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is you want to set up two dummy addresses in the machine uh, administrator settings. Uh, these addresses you can use, uh, they don't have to be real. So go to administrator, uh, administrator registration, and uh, you're going to put your first dummy address in there. I have test at testing.com, it could be anything. Okay, next one is input machine address. Same thing, put whatever one you want. I have scans at supertext.com. Remember, it does not have to be a real email address. Okay, then let's go over to network settings. Uh, number seven, email settings. Email TX SMTP. And you want to make sure scan to email is on on the first page there. Everything else is fine. Let's go to the next page. Here's the host address. You're going to want to enter smtp.gmail.com for your host address. Go ahead and hit next. Binary division, we'll leave that off. It's basically if you want to um, uh, limit file sizes and stuff like that. We're going to leave it off for now. Um, connection timeout, 60 seconds, that's fine. Server capacity, no limit, that's fine. And under SMTP over SSL, you want to have that on. Everything else there is fine. Make sure your port number is 465 under SSL on the right hand side. And next page, there's nothing we need to change here. Let's go to detail settings. Make sure your SMTP authentication is on. Ours is here. Okay, this is going to be where you put in your own credentials. So, um, your email address, the first part of your email address before it gets to the ad, that's where your user ID is going to be. Password obviously is your password and the domain name is going to be gmail.com. That's all you have to enter on this page, but make sure your username and password is correct. Okay, let's hit menu and just go back to the home page. Hit scan fax. Uh, now you can go in the address book and enter your address book in one time or do a direct input and type in your email and then hit OK and send it. And that's how you do it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Peace.